now, how about we head to textbook center where Wangaritha storyteller is and she has picked an interesting book titled Crafty Chameleon. Hello, this is Wangara the Storyteller and it's time for another book, another story. Now, tell me, do you know the chameleon? What do you know about the chameleon? Yes, the chameleon is known to change color depending on where he is. And that way, you might not know where the chameleon is because his color looks just like his surroundings. But do you know why the chameleon began changing his color? Well, don't worry, I will let you know in our book today. The Crafty Chameleon. Every morning, chameleon rested and caught flies in the high branches of the mogumo tree. Every morning, Leopard came jumping and leaping from branch to branch, landing beside Chameleon with a heavy thud. And Chameleon then bounced high into the air, going around and round and round until he hit the ground with a smack. Ouch. One day, Chameleon shouted angrily, If you do not leave me alone, I shall tie you up with a rope like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> the leopard laughed and bounced away. Now, every evening, Chameleon walked to the river to drink water with the other small animals. Every evening, Crocodile came swishing and slithering out of the water, snaking his teeth and laughing as all the small animals ran away. One day, Chameleon shouted angrily, if you do not leave me alone, I shall tie you up with a rope like a dog. Oh, ha, 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 laughed the crocodile. So, Chameleon asked the weaving birds to weave him a rope. And he pretended that he was a stone. And when Leopard came bouncing along, Chameleon threw the rope around his neck, calling, now I have you on the rope, and I shall pull you along. Leopard thought it was a joke, and he just waited, laughing because he knew that Chameleon was not strong enough to pull him. And you can see him with the rope on his neck. Chameleon took the other end of the rope down to the river, and he disguised himself as a branch. And when Crocodile came slithering along, Chameleon threw the rope around his neck, calling, Now I have a rope on you, and I shall pull you along. Just wait until I pull. <laughs> I will wait, laughed the Crocodile. And Chameleon walked back to the middle of the rope, where he could see both the crocodile and the leopard. Well, he changed his color to be the same color as a leaf on the branch that he was standing on, so neither the leopard nor the crocodile could see him. Well, the leopard pulled fast, and the crocodile came wheezing and splashing backwards through the mud. And then the crocodile pulled hard, and Leopard was dragged through a nest of biting ants. So, Leopard pulled, and Crocodile pulled, and Leopard pulled, and Crocodile pulled, and they pulled and pulled until they were both exhausted from being dragged all over the forest. I'm sorry, Mr. Chameleon. I will never bother you again, I promise. They each called, please. Let me go. And when they sat down panting, Chameleon came and cut them free. And to this day, both the crocodile and the leopard do not bother the chameleon. They leave him alone. For you know, 
brains are often better than size. And Chameleon can go as slow as he likes. But just in case he's scared that someone is coming on his path, he just changes color and hides when he hears you coming. Did you enjoy that? I definitely did. And I hope that you will read some more books before our story time next week. Until then, see you. <laughs>